guys, welcome back. Uh, we actually made some progress on the garage. Uh, so here it is. It's actually ready to brew in. I'm very excited. We have a steel beam. We have a little trolley and a pulley system happening and it is now attached to this empty grain bill and this is our test to see if it's gonna tip over everything. And that all made us realize that we needed to put in an anchor point so that the entire bag of grain didn't just go sliding everywhere. Wait, no, sorry, wrong one. This one in there. So you're still pulling straight. Fancy. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, actually, you know what? First, what you're gonna do is rest it like this, and then I can let go because it's gonna be held on by the brackets, and then I can unclip it. So this to make sure it doesn't take off that way, what we're gonna do is lift our grain, put our brackets in, So the brewery build's pretty much done. Now we have some more paneling to put up and endless amounts of organization to do still. Uh, the end of this video is basically uh, us putting in the AC, so feel free to skip that if home renovation isn't your thing. If you don't stick around, like and subscribe, and tune in later this week, I am pulling out my new 14 gallon brew built fermenter that has its own heating and cooling and putting it together. Uh, so that is coming up soon and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.
Yeah. And the cord's just gonna come down, do a little drape, and you're fine with that? Or should we do it higher? What? Should we do it higher? So that well, it's straight? the cord comes down this bottom, if I remember right. Oh. Uh -huh. We'll tag it along the wall, loop it down. Maybe if we're lucky, I can put the excess in the, inside the wall before we frame it back up. Yeah. Actually, I could put all the cord in the wall. True. Before we put this other plywood on. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Now what? These two are on each side. We get ready to cut this. We put one across there. And we do two more uprights. I was finally convinced that I should get an AC for the garage after it started being around 100 degrees Fahrenheit in early spring. So we went along with the process of cutting a hole in the garage to install it. Now let me tell you, I think this AC has actually exploded my electric bill. So I don't know if I would recommend getting one. I typically will leave it off now. But uh, if you leave it on 86 degrees when it's 110 outside, then uh, yeah, it really takes a lot of power. It does work like a charm though. Of course, after spending all this time getting the air conditioner in the wall, we forgot to plug in these little wire connections between the front panel and the AC itself. And then what you don't see in this video is we actually had to take the entire thing out to put the grill on on the back because we just completely forgot to do that. So, you know, it was an entire day's worth of work and now we're done with it. Oh, look at that. Sit. Gap holds it. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like you did that on purse. There you go. <laughs> oh, wait, hold the foul. Oh, look at that. Don't there you go. Oh, yeah. Just tape it. All right, fucker, put the. Yeah, oh my god, the... why is it so fucking loose? Does it, does it have a. Uh, you gotta pull a cover for the battery, too. I just did. The plastic off the battery? Yeah, I pulled the plastic. We got a dud. <laughs> hey, maybe reset the breaker. Yeah, the breaker's fine. Yeah. Maybe take the one on the... The top? On the AC Check thingy. Uh, well, first try turning it on via the... Did you plug that little plug back in? What's the plug? The oh, little... the wiring! <laughs> Did you put the wiring back in? The plug? Which wire? Take the face off. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, oh good thing I'm here. Oh, my God. <laughs> we would have been, like, fine pulling it out and returning it. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, I would have noticed the second we pulled it off again. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't it working? If you stuck around, thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time.